Let's learn how to create this perfect halo eyeshadow look step by step. First things first, I'm starting with a concealer. I'm using the Maybelline from the collection Fit Me. I'm placing this one on my lids and I'm outlining my eyebrows. This will create a smooth canvas for my eyeshadow and it will make the makeup to stay longer. You can use an eye primer if you want. Then, after I'm done, I will blend this with a sponge. Now, here is a very important part, especially in the summer days. Once you place the concealer, always go on top of it with a translucent powder. Trust me on this one. For the eyeshadow, I will use this P. Louise palette, but you can use whichever palette that you have at home. I'm taking the orange color on a small blending brush and I'm tapping any excess of it. Then I'm placing this color, as you can see on the screen, on my crease. Take your time while you're placing this color on your crease and put just a small amount on your outer corner if you prefer. For the next step, I'm taking this light orangey color on a medium sized blending brush and I'm blending this one above the crease and on top of the darker orangey color. Take your time while you are blending guys, it will look like a perfect mess before it's done. Now let's move on to the yellow eyeshadow and I'm using a medium sized blending brush as well. This one is more fluffier and I'm blending this yellow color beneath my brow bone. I just want to quickly mention that I received this palette in my P. Louise mystery box and if you're interested to see what else I've received I will put a card so you can check that video and for the rest of the products I will mention them in the description down below. Now I will go one step backwards and on a small fluffy brush I'm taking the darker orange color and slowly I will blend between the light orange and the darker orange making linear and circular moves guys remember makeup is a back and forward process you can really achieve a very good look with just one step Now I want to give my crease even more depth and I'm taking this yellow color on a small blending brush tapping any excess of product as you can see I'm always doing that and I will just repeat the same step that I did with the orange color. My way of doing halo eye it's a bit different but I'm taking a cotton bud on it I put uh, just a small amount of water and a cleanser and uh, with this cotton bud I'm cleaning uh, below my crease then after that I'm taking just a small amount of concealer on a flat brush and I'm placing this one very gently To avoid creasing on my eyeshadow, I will put again translucent powder on the places where I covered them with concealer. Now for the next step, I'm taking a flat brush and I'm taking the yellow color and I'm placing this one in the middle. I'm putting from this color a couple of times until I'm satisfied with the intensity. Now I'm taking this brown color on a small blending brush as always I'm tapping any excess of makeup and I'm placing this color on my outer corners and inner corners. Guys if there is any specific eyeshadow look that you want to see on my channel let me know in the comments and I will make sure to recreate it and explain it to you.
Now let's get back to eyeshadows. I'm taking this red color on a fluffy brush and I'm placing this one between the dark brown and the yellow color and I'm doing linear moves just to ensure that it's really nicely smudged because I really want to get that nice transition between colors. It's never enough from sparkles and I'm taking this uh, golden yellow shimmer and I'm placing this one on the center but because I have hooded eyes I'm taking this shimmer slightly above the center of my crease as you can notice. Now if you want to intensify the outer corners like I do I'm taking the brown color and just gently I will Put a bit more color. Now let me do the rest of my face and I will come back to finish the lower lash line. Once I'm done with my face I'm taking a small angle brush and I'm taking from the brown color and I'm placing this color on the endings of the lower lash line and at the beginnings of the lower lash line. Once I'm done with this, I'm taking a small brush and I'm taking from the yellow color, placing this one in the middle and for an extra touch, I'm adding the golden sparkly color <laughs> to add even more shimmer. And I'm finishing this look by adding mascara and lashes of camera.